Today we're talking about fades within Cakewalk by BandLab. So I'm going to teach you how to do basic fades, I'm going to teach you how to do cross fades, and then I'm also going to teach you how to adjust the slopes, all right? So if you guys want to learn how to do that, stick around after this introduction. What's going on everybody? I'm Dan Spencer and I am the Audio Sourcer. So this is the channel where I teach you how to perfect your audio recording, mixing and mastering skills. So before we get to the video, make sure you guys smash that like button, please subscribe and hit that notification bell to know when I have new videos coming out. So without further ado, today we are talking about crossfades and fades in general within Cakewalk by BandLab. So crossfades are kind of odd within Cakewalk and they're not as easy to work with as opposed to in other DOS. So I'm gonna show you how to implement fades and crossfades in this tutorial, and it's gonna be pretty fast since there's not a whole lot to them. So before we get into all of that, I have a link popping up in the top right corner now to my Cakewalk playlist, which is full of training videos. And these videos range from beginner to advanced. And if you guys want to get better at using Cakewalk, definitely check out this playlist after this video. So with that being said, let's actually start with looking at basic fades. All right, so to create a basic fade in Cakewalk, it's very simple. You need to either be at the beginning of a clip, so this is where my mouse is at now, this is the very beginning of this clip, or you need to be at the very end of a clip. So where my mouse is at now, this is obviously the end of the clip. So if I hover at the very top here, you see it creates a triangle. Now, for it to do this, you need to make sure that you have the Smart Tools selected. See where my mouse is at here in the top left? Make sure Smart Tools selected. Go back to your clip here, hover. It creates a little triangle right there. Simply click and drag to the left. And now I'm creating a little fade, okay? So if you don't like the fade to be exactly straight like this, this is called linear. If you hover over here, and then you right click, you get an option to either do linear, slow curve, or fast curve, and then they have the picture of what these will actually look like. So if we want to do a fast curve, this is what it will look like here. If we want to do a slow curve, this is what it will look like here. So that is simply how you implement a basic fade in Cakewalk. So let's move on to crossfades. All right, so to implement crossfades in Cakewalk, there is a setting that we wanna look at first. So you're gonna to wanna to go up to the Options tab. This is where my mouse is at now. Click on this, and then you'll see the first two settings here are related to crossfade. So we're gonna leave the crossfade type section all on its default, so don't worry about that. But I want you to enable auto crossfade, all right? And what's gonna happen is when we work with two different clips, it's gonna automatically make the crossfade for us. So what I did was here, I split this piano track at measure number five here. So if I wanted to, I can simply drag this right clip here over top of the left clip and it's gonna create a crossfade. So watch this. So let me highlight this here. I'm gonna drag, see? So it created the crossfade automatically here, all right? If I wanna undo that, I'll do Control Z. So watch if I don't have this enabled, what happens. So if I go back to options and I disable auto crossfade, and I do the same thing, nothing happens. It just basically drags this clip extension over top of that, all right? And that's not what we want. To create a crossfade without having auto crossfade enabled, you have to essentially create two fades. So I would fade this clip in, I would fade this clip out, but then I also have to go to the bottom of the fade here and drag it over top. So now they're actually crossing over each other, creating a cross fade. But if you look at them here, they're not really even, and then you have to kind of start, you know, moving portions of it around to get it where you want it. And it's just not as simple as working with the auto crossfade. So my recommendation is to leave auto crossfade enabled and you're gonna get the best results with that. All right, so that is pretty much everything there is to crossfades and fades within Cakewalk by BandLab. So if I answered all of your questions, give this video a thumbs up. And if you like what I'm doing, please subscribe and hit that notification bell to know I have new videos coming out. So with that being said, until the next video, I will see you guys later and peace out.